Hey there, Z here from S&P Gym down in Stockport. Now, the video you're about to watch is of S&P client Barry. Now, when Barry joined S&P nearly two years ago now, he was really struggling and frustrated with trying to find the right combination between being fit and being strong and muscular as well. Also, another problem with Barry was that you'd often find him on a Saturday night after a late night, drunken night out with friends, eating chicken and chips. And he knew that something had to give in terms of finding better nutrition and a better lifestyle. I want to introduce you, introduce you to Barry right now. Go check the video out. Please, can you tell me your name, age and occupation? My name's Barry. Mm -hmm. I'm 47 and I'm a um, senior manager in the NHS. Thank you. Um, and before you joined S&P, what, what kind of training did you used to do? Um, wide range of training, did some liquid bit of martial arts, weights training, fitness, but never really in a combination. Okay. Just um, general gyms, Virgin, Holmes Place when it used to exist. Um, generally that. Okay, and what encouraged you to join S&P? Um, I'd, I'd had successes, but there were separated successes so um, if I did fitness I was fit but I mm -hmm. didn't have any um, strength because I wasn't doing the weights and equally when I did the weights I didn't have the fitness I, my fitness dropped off and I needed to find something that gave me the right mix mm -hmm. um, and when I searched the internet I, um, I was looking at um, the 300 and looked behind that Mark Twight and he had undertake, undertaken the training for um, Gerald Butler and the rest of them and then I searched on the internet for gyms that provided that level of that type of training mm -hmm. and then came across S&P right. and then I thought oh, it was local, I pop down and see. And tell me about what were your fears before you popped into S&P on your first day? Fears about coming to S&P? Mm, maybe preconce preconceived ideas or what you were personally worried about? Well from the videos it gave uh, that they were existing at that time, they, they gave a good impression of what you'll get, the bang for your buck. But my worry was that they wouldn't, may not deliver, because mm -hmm. people can present a really good image, but do they always deliver is, is the thing. Mm -hmm. So that was my main concern. Mm -hmm. And how has, has that changed now? Are you... Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, definitely the, the training was as I expected, if not more, it pushes me. I'm never in my comfort zone. Sometimes I'm frightened to come down because of how hard I'm, I know I'm going to get pushed. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I definitely lived up to expectations. Okay. Um, and what did you, so what did you struggle with before S&P? Like what, what were your major frustrations? Like I touched on before, mm -hmm. I, I couldn't get the combination right. I couldn't get the strength training and the fitness training mm -hmm. right. I didn't know how to mix it up. The gyms didn't lend themselves well to do the things you do at S&P. Right. Um, so the sledge pulls, etc. Yeah. So you just couldn't, and, and that was my frustration. One, if I, if I hit one hard, I lost stamina on the other. Right. And do you, is that one of your most enjoyable things, the, the sled pull or the prowler, or what's your favorite it, thing? See, they have a twisted version about what's enjoyable. <laughs> it, it's all a challenge. It's fun, <laughs> it may be fun, but people like Z will say, oh, that's great fun. Well, it's not fun. You need to look that up in the in dictionary, what fun means. But it, it is it is a test and it you, you get a buzz out of it afterwards after achieving it. Definitely. Um, so tell me about the results you've experienced since joining S&P. Now you've got the right combination. Gosh, um, stamina is up there. I used to do a lot of running and when I do the same um, runs, I'm knocking two, three minutes off my time. And that's significant with the running. Yeah. Anybody who does running knows that that's significant. I'm, I'm, and I'm feeling strong at the end of it. I started the gym and I was, um, dare I say my size, I was a waist 38, touching 40, I'm now 34. Awesome. Um, my posture, my strength, it's all there. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, yeah. You can see it in clothes, but I've had friends and family say, gosh, you look, look a bit slimmer, not so jowly. You know, I'm trying to keep it up for my age, so yeah, there's hey, lots of good signs. You're not too old, are you? You're not an old dog, no. No. There's, there's, there's lots of life left, no? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely lots of fighting there. <laughs> and how has it changed your like personal life then, achieving these goals, losing the weight and hitting everything like that? Um, just gives you, with anything when you succeed, it gives that self-confidence. Self um, it makes you feel better in yourself. You're more energised mm -hmm. for everything that life throws at you. Um, 
and you're more encouraged to encourage other people to achieve that because if you can do that for yourself then mm -hmm. friends and family who are struggling with their um, training regimes you can encourage them to do that cool um and tell me what um s p means to you hmm. it means um fun mm -hmm. it means challenge it means competition although i'm not competitive uh, you say that <laughs> yes you are um it, it means achievement, um, mm -hmm. they're, they're the core things for me. Okay, cool. Um, and in a nutshell, how have we helped you? How's s &P helped you? It's, it's allowed me to um, bring out that championship performance every time I hit here. Mm -hmm. Because if you listen to people like who are in the Olympics or um, talk about how they push themselves, take that themselves, themselves to that next level, it allows me to do that. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere to hide. Um, if if the if the trainers aren't watching me, there's one of my um, what gym, gym members saying, "Come on, Barry, yeah. push it." So it just brings out the best. Cool. There's always some eyes on you somewhere, isn't there? Yeah. There's no getting away with it, is there? Yeah. It's even worse when there's only like three in the set, <laughs> three of you in a in a group. Then you're really exposed. Yeah. The pressure's on, isn't it? Yeah. But it works. Yeah, definitely. Um, and why do you think S and P is different to anywhere else? For the combination of the things I've I've touched upon, it's mm -hmm. um, it's engaging, it's um, it makes you think about um, not only about your training regime but about your dietary requirements, mm -hmm. um, about the the holistic approach about how do you achieve your gains, mm -hmm. how do you achieve your, the rewards of training. So if you get your food right and your training right, and you never sit in your comfort zone, mm -hmm. so. Albeit that the, tra um, the coaches can change the training program, you have to bring your part to that training. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's S and P just it 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 demonstrates um, all the best parts of what a training, um, what a gym should be, mm -hmm. if it's really to get the best out of its um, members. And so, just tell me a little bit about nutrition because you've just touched on it. How do you eat? How differently do you eat now than before S and P? Um, much differently. Um, so, with the information S and P has given me, albeit that it was out there, I wasn't really applying it to my eating regime, and they made a better connection about the foods I need to be eating to 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 um, fuel my body mm -hmm. for the training sessions that are being delivered, and what I should be eating after training sessions, and what I should be eating on my rest days. Mm -hmm. So, getting that balance right, um, making sure that. I watch um, my intake, mm -hmm. not beating myself up when I have a bad day, mm -hmm. um, recognising sometimes you'll step off but step on. Mm -hmm. um, the meals I used to eat where mm -hmm. I was, you know, after the nightclub, chicken and chips or whatever on the way out at 2 o'clock in the morning, um, I've now cut back, cut all those back. I've cut my sugar back by 80% wow. in my diet, um, immediately lost after three weeks about eight pounds. Um, Fab. So it's just mm -hmm. the, the whole dietary, uh, dietary information in connection to your training regime really worked for me. Yeah, it's a major part, isn't it? it you can't achieve one without another. No. And there needs to be balance between the three for, for mm -hmm. that to recognise your goals. Mm -hmm. And then what would you say now to someone who's thinking of joining S&P? Joining S&P, if you, if you really want to make some gains, if you really want um, to make achievements I'm not saying some of them might be um, quick wins but if you've got that um, long-term wish to really um, have the right strength right fitness right look then SP is absolutely um, give it a try mm -hmm. um, be patient because it's taking you a while to get where you are and it take you a while to get where you need to be um, definitely give it a try I tried it it's worked I've been here almost two years mm -hmm. and it's been absolutely sound and I've just made it part of my daily life routine cool thank you very much Barry you're welcome awesome thank you <laughs> <laughs> what a great guy Barry is so if if anything you've seen or heard on Barry's video has resonated with you then I urge you to find a link on this page click on the button and fill in the application form to one of our programs so we can really kind of get on the phone with you and help you move forward from where you might have been in the past to where you'd ideally like to go in the future. This is Z from S&P Gym saying take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.